Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Thursday, January 12th, 2017. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, the authorized soul presences are child souls from the denser, deeper dimensions, Nature Realms Guardians, and Leo Vanovanov. In addition, we have a number of other Vanovanovs present, and it's possible that some of them will begin to do some of, they say they already are beginning to do some of the work of the soul plans. Uh, I guess the question is, will they continue to do the work of the soul plans that have been assigned to these host lives? Souls who are here should be doing the work that is assigned to these host lives, or they should not be using the energy of the host lives. That's true. As always, our foundational intention is to do what is ours to do right now in all dimensions to manifest the divine plan. The data very clearly showing that until someone else starts leading the search for truth efforts better that is where our focus needs to be predominantly because nothing works without truth present with that the formally videoed portions of today's efforts begin what now in order to manifest the divine plan no matter what anyone else does or doesn't do what now what I'm seeing looks kind of like the karmic records as viewed from behind. Oh, interesting. And there are big lumps and sags. I see it. And if I turn, I can see from the front where it looks clean and from back where it looks like a, a mess. mess. All right, let's work up the lumps and sags in the karmic records from the back. And what do I know? That which in the back is often that which we think is unseen by others. Sometimes it's that which we ourselves don't want to look at, don't want to consider. We want to pretend that we've put that behind us and That's it's no true. longer a part of our record. That's true. And we saw somebody uh, with a back problem the other day and that was our strong perception is there was something he had done that he wasn't proud of and he didn't want to deal with and he had just put it behind him That's true. Uh, which doesn't actually work and as a result his physical back was really bothering him quite a bit that's true let's see if we can work up the lumps and sags and bumps in the karmic records <laughs> mm. not just at this level but also for the level smaller than this level in which we are primarily experiencing sentience, in which yes. these host lives are primarily experiencing sentience, yes. and also us as souls. I'm seeing through various soul eyes, yes. and it's a little disorienting because it's just flashes of all these different points of view, these That's vantages, uh, not necessarily advantages, but vantage points. That's and true. that everybody's got a different perspective, meaning possibly meaning coming at it from different dimensions that's true and to work up these lumps and bumps for all of us and for those who are smaller than we are when we turn around and help someone we ourselves are helped paradoxically much more than if we focus only on ourselves that's true showing up our own errors that we have failed to acknowledge to ourselves even and which we have therefore swallowed so to speak and pushed into our tissues and our cells like that gentleman who pushed his error into the tissues of his back That's true. How are we all exactly, exactly like, like this? That. This is what it is to be a sentient presence. We're error-making machines, and often the errors, especially now, are extremely inconvenient to have to deal with. And somebody That's says, true. what do you mean by especially now? And first, it's, it's that person up there who's saying it, so yeah. please look at them, look at them. Now let's ask, what do you mean by especially now? And the person saying, well, uh, society has collapsed. Interesting, they're not saying society is collapsing. They're saying society has, has collapsed. collapsed. And somebody, this person who was just asking that question says, what do you mean by that? 
They're saying it's a matter of trickle down, <laughs> trickle down physics, and That's that true. when society collapses in larger dimensions, there can be a lag effect before it to hit here. But it is, uh, it's already shown up here, and it's gone through this level, whoosh, into the lower levels. It's just a matter of time before the pain levels get high enough that we're willing to acknowledge that society has collapsed. That's true. Um, somebody's saying, what do you know? And they're referring to the lack of integrity with regard to, quote, commitments, unquote. Yes. And that presences, humanoid presences in ground zero in this dimension will commit, quote unquote, to something, but their words mean nothing. They're, they mean absolutely nothing. That's true. And people will commit and then uh, change their minds. And other presences tell huge, whopping, enormous lies that leave out significant, crucial, important <laughs> facts. That's true. And third parties will not uh, speak up about it even though they're aware of the whoppers of lies that are being told and the lying lives that are being lived. That's true. And it's considered rude to out the liar rather than what it should be. It should be considered rude to not out the liar. That should be rude. That's true. And, and therefore society has collapsed actually. That's what this person up there is saying. Please Please make eye contact with them, these presences who are wishing to argue with the channel. This is just, think of it as an electronic device that's playing what that person's saying. That's true. Look up, look up, look up, look up at them. Please, stop. Oh, jeez. Oh, much grumpy pants. Look, friends. When you refuse to look up, it strongly suggests, and some might say proves, that you know that it's really that person up there and you don't want to look up so that you'll be, quote, forced, unquote, to acknowledge it. Uh, the show of hands. Who can see that it's that person up there who's talking? I feel people standing up, like a yes. standing acknowledgement. Yes. Thank you. Presences who are in the dimension with these people who don't want to acknowledge it or presences who love the people who don't want to acknowledge it. Are you willing to go and just tip their chins up gently and help them to look up? Not looking at the mouth. Well, it's not the mouthpiece. The kind of like the electronic speaker. Don't look at where the sound is playing. Look at the ventriloquist. It's very quiet. It's very quiet. I can tell that some people are sitting with their eyes closed and their head down. Uh, yes, it's that's true. What, what do we know? We know that some uh, churches say that that's the position that you should take in the presence of God, but that doesn't actually make sense. Why wouldn't we look up? Please, friends, open your eyes and look up at the person up there who's talking. Please look up. Please, please look up. Somebody is asking someone else, why aren't they looking up? And the other person is saying it's, it's a pretense of sanctimony, uh, that they're pretending to be devout, but what they're doing is trying their hardest to ignore God. That's true. Look up. What do I know? Uh, they're asking about how it is to be a channel, and we know that it can be extremely helpful to shut our eyes to stop the input from the dimension in which we're experiencing primary sentience. Too much untruth comes in through the eyes. Too much distraction occurs through the eyes. That's true. It can be very helpful to close the eyes, but then to put our focus out the top of our heads as if we had eyes on the top of our heads and then look up with those eyes, eyes of the soul. 
and ask up with our ears, ears of the soul, and say, what now, in order to live our own soul plans? What now? How to handle this immediate situation in such a way as to live my own soul plan? And for these host lives here, somebody is saying, keep going, keep going. For these host lives here, the soul plans are, uh, we were part of an experiment uh, that included one comma zero 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 comma zero zero zero, exactly one million souls. Wow, that hawk is Two making hawks. so much noise. Two hawks just shrieking and circling overhead. We were part of an experiment of one million souls, precisely one million, who were given the soul plan of all of the higher dimension presences which is to manifest the divine plan right now no matter what anyone else does or doesn't do and then we were assigned to ground zero lives and the we in question is the original souls of the bodies that's true and these particular host lives the original souls in question turned over the bodies uh, as instructed to their uh, angels, quote unquote, their guardian angels but who true. said, get out of the body, I need it. And both of these souls said, okay, okay. you can have it. And they left but the lives are still committed to the cause That's they're still true. assigned to the cause donated like uh, like donating a car to goodwill That's we're donated true. to the cause of manifesting the divine plan no matter what anyone else does or doesn't do why do you ask why do you ask we know that somebody is trying to make some kind of point because they're sending two hawks to circle right over us and the hawks are calling 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 yes what is it what is it what is it what do I know well hawks could be calling to other hawks that's true why else would they be shouting like that they're really shouting and that's they've true. been shouting for a while friends Listen, we've, we've really been inundated for well over a year now with souls who want to be assigned here. We're not in any shortage of souls who want to be assigned here. That's true. The shortage is in souls who are ready, willing, and able to roll up their sleeves and actually start doing the work of the soul plan. The soul plan's already assigned. Uh, that was assigned long ago before these uh, host lives were born into ground zero presence. That's true. The, the assignment's already on the table. Now what's needed is willing hands, ready, willing, and able hands to do the work. That's true. All souls who are here are supposed to be sharing in the work. If they are not sharing in the work, they are parasites. That's true. Please look up. Everybody look up. Please look up. Look up to that person who's talking. Please look up. Please look up. Please everybody look up. This person who sees that they're not looking up doesn't want to believe that they're not looking up. No. This person feels like they came in from way up high yes. and they dropped down and they just had to get here and somehow magically by virtue of their healing presence maybe yes. everything would start to work. And yes. and what do we know? We know that you're <laughs> you don't stand out from the crowd with that belief. That is an extremely common belief. These true. souls who come in from way up high and they think they'll just drop in and the situation will be healed by their divine presence. Yes. And uh, it, it hasn't worked yet. It hasn't worked even a little bit, even no, once. That's true. It never does. That's got a 100% failure rate. We're trying to run Leo's experiment right now. That's true. We're trying to uh, get enough propulsion by burning the lies, which are oh so easily available. That's Creating true. propulsion and power, smaller subatomic children, all the way out of the contaminated zone. We use the lies, burn the lies, whoosh, create a big bellows pump, poof, lift, and shoot dead children from the denser, deeper levels out of the contaminated zone so that they can get to God. Yes. And in such a way, maybe we'll learn how we ourselves can get out of the contaminated zone and get to God. But That's we've got true. to turn around and help somebody when we ourselves just try to scramble out ourselves. It doesn't work. That's true. 
pump the bellows pump and burn some more lies work out lumps out of the karmic records burn them and power Leo's experiment that we can do that's true burn it up. why don't they look up it's really heartbreaking Can you figure out why aren't they looking up? Why aren't they looking up? Those hawks are saying maybe look up, look up. No, I no. feel like the hawks are saying we've got a live one. Come in, come in. Friends, you're going the wrong direction. Look up. Look up. Look up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Look up. Go up. Go. Great. To all of you people who aren't looking up, we really are asking a very serious question. Why aren't you looking up? Please help us understand. Help us. Please explain. And now keep closing and they'll either start to explain or they won't. Correcting the errors for today. Well, I think that uh, there are many, many, many individual reasons why they aren't looking up, but there's also a universal reason why they aren't looking up, and the reason they aren't looking up is that they don't want to do it. That's what's under the Band-Aid. I don't want to do what my soul plan commits me to doing, and you can't make me, that's and true. that's why they aren't looking up, because they think in some way if they don't look up, it'll make it easier to not do what they're supposed to be doing right now. That's true. All right. We can look up. Do you think it's possible it's an Isis, some element of Isis who's down here so broken hearted that they aren't looking up? Maybe. It might be. It's it feels female That's and true. not a stranger, but also hasn't been here in quite some time. It could be an Isis, some aspect of Isis. That's true. I think that's who it is. Ooh. It is. Now I can see kind of like her purse, the inside of her purse, and I know that purse. This is Isis' purse. That's true interesting it's like a familiar uh, I know these hands I know looking for that car keys set of car keys I know this purse I know this bag that's Isis's purse that's true mm. okay so Isis listen as long as you're here to do the work you're welcome but this work has got to be done and we, we absolutely can't take any more riders who are just parasitic that's true we need people to do the work Correcting the errors for the year of 2017. Start to finish. <laughs>